Step back in time to Hollywood's golden age and uncover the forbidden love stories that have been kept hidden for decades. From the big screen to behind the scenes, the classical Hollywood era was filled with experimentation, scandal, and secrets. Don't miss this fascinating glimpse into the past that will leave you questioning everything you thought you knew about the golden age of cinema. Make sure to watch till the end of this video as we reveal the true identities of 20 secretly gay stars of old Hollywood who had to hide their true selves to protect their careers. Number 1. Walter Pidgeon This man is responsible for many of the stories about the bisexual antics of Hollywood stars during the Golden Age. Even though he was married twice, Walter Pidgeon was clearly attracted to young men. After getting gas on Hollywood Boulevard, Pigeon offered Scotty Bowers $20 to go home with him. The arrangement became a regular thing, and the movie star started telling his friends about the extra services they could find at the gas station. For years, Bowers ran a sexual referral service out of this gas station and took part in the Hollywood underground sex trade. If he didn't have sexual relations with the customers himself, he set up ways for his cash-strapped ex-Marine friends to get paid. Soon, he grew his networks to include people of all sexual orientations and interests. Later in his life, Bowers wrote a biography that shocked everyone by naming movie stars of that time. Number 2. Greta Garbo Greta Garbo moved to the U.S. when she was 20 years old she became one of the most famous actresses of all time. During her career, she had a number of relationships with both men and women. She didn't like to talk about her personal life in public and would rather keep quiet than give the media details. She may have had sexual encounters with Marlene Dietrich, Marilyn Monroe, and other famous women. At the same time, many men asked her to marry them. Garbo didn't lie to the press about her personal life. Instead, she kept quiet about it, which gave her a mysterious air. Marlene Dietrich was probably the most famous person Garbo dated. None of these relationships worked out, so at the age of 35, she quit the movies and lived alone until her death in 1990. At least two men, Swedish publisher Lars Saxon and American silent film star John Gilbert, are said to have asked Garbo to marry them three times. Garbo never got married and never had any children. Number 3. Montgomery Clift The mysterious 1950s heartthrob and actor Montgomery Clift was a very talented person. But unlike most of his Hollywood peers who lived in Los Angeles, Clift lived in New York. A decision that kept his personal life private and kept his dating life out of the scandal and gossip tabloids. He was famous for starring in movies with Elizabeth Taylor and for their relationship, which made the world curious about whether or not they would get together. But it seems this movie star wasn't just interested in women. Clift kept his sexual life pretty secret from the rest of the world. Only the top people in Hollywood knew that he often hired men to make him happy. After an accident, which left him with a scarred face, Clift's career started to go downhill and he became a heavy drinker. It's also likely that his drinking was caused by having to hide the fact that he was gay. Clift would die in 1966 when he was only 45 years old. Number 4. Barbara Stanwyck Stanwyck's sexuality became the source of much speculation throughout her career as she was widely considered to be a lesbian, but was forced to maintain a public appearance of heterosexuality so as not to bring controversy to the industry. She got married twice and adopted a son to keep up appearances, but she never said she was gay. Stanwyck played a lesbian named Joe Courtney in the 1962 movie Walk on the Wild Side. This was one of the first times Hollywood showed a lesbian character, but Stanwyck refused to talk about her own sexuality. After writer Bose Hadley questioned if she had ever had lesbian sex like Greta Garbo and Marlene Dietrich, Stanwyck reportedly kicked him out of her house. Her acting career lasted for a total of 60 years, and she passed away in 1990 at the age of 83. Number 5. Marilyn Monroe Despite Marilyn Monroe's status as a sex icon for every macho, heterosexual male, it's important to note that she wasn't actually a man-eater despite her reputation. 
with women, Monroe was able to let her guard down and fully express herself, both physically and emotionally. She also found it more satisfying to work with women, if you get the idea. Marilyn Monroe may have been the most famous of the Hollywood stars who were gay in private. She had emotional issues due to a bad childhood and mental illness. She started modeling when she was young and went on to join the A-list. She was said to have health problems that made it uncomfortable for her to have sex with men, so she preferred to share her intimate moments with women. Monroe was notorious for her sexual appetite, and many prominent and regular people claimed to have had relationships with her. She was 36 when she was thought to have killed herself. Number 6. Spencer Tracy Spencer Tracy was a huge movie star. He was married and had kids, but he was also linked to a number of men, including Scotty Bowers, over the course of his career. People said that his relationship with Katherine Hepburn was set up by the media and that they didn't have a good time together. The actor used alcohol to get through a lot of his sadness, and because he was a Hollywood star, he could never be himself sexually. Tracy is also said to have had a long-term relationship with actor John Derrick and Scotty Bowers, who was an open pimp to the stars during the Golden Age, and wrote a book about it, shedding new light on the world before Stonewall. Bowers says that the relationship between the famous actor and Katherine Hepburn was a, quote, pseudo-romance that was made up by the studio and was never finished. Number 7. Katherine Hepburn Katherine Hepburn is one of the most well-known actresses in Hollywood history. Is it safe to assume that Hepburn wouldn't have had nearly as much success in old Hollywood if people knew she was gay? Katherine Hepburn was the other half of the famous Hepburn-Tracy relationship. It was said that the leading lady was out and proudly gay, but at the time, the contracts of the big stars didn't allow them to tell the public. Hepburn was known for dressing like a boy, and even though she liked men, it seemed like she liked women more. Hepburn's relationship with Spencer Tracy seems to have been set up by the studios to keep up an image that fans liked at a time when being gay was still against the law. For 25 years, they kept up their public personas. Number 8. Clark Gable One of Hollywood's biggest stars is Clark Gable. In over 40 years, he appeared in over 60 films. Back in the day, the Gone with the Wind actor was renowned as a womanizer and slept with several of his co-stars. There were rumors of Gable's covert homosexuality, but they were never confirmed. In his brief 59 years, he married five women, had two children, and had an almost 30-year celebrity love affair with Joan Crawford. Gable was, quote, gay for pay and, quote, rough trade and loved to have sex, quote, for cash, according to David Brett's book, Clark Gable, Tormented Star. Gable also used a gadget to prolong erections and, quote, would occasionally scrape his penis until it bled. It's also said that Gable didn't want to star in Gone with the Wind because George Cukor, an out homosexual director, was set to direct. Cukor was said to have known about Gable's days in hustling Hollywood's homosexual scene before he became renowned, and Gable was reputedly uncomfortable working with him. Gable's sexuality speculations are just supposition as no proof has been found. Number 9. Cary Grant Cary Grant is another Hollywood star who was married five times. He had a long and successful acting career that made him one of the most well-known leading men of all time. People disagree about whether or not Grant was bisexual, but there's no doubt that he was friends with actor Randolph Scott and lived with him for 12 years. The two met on the set of Hot Saturday in 1932 and lived together in a mansion in Los Angeles called Bachelor Hall before, during, and after they got married to different women. In the 1930s, there were a lot of rumors that he was gay or bisexual because he lived with another actor for 12 years. He denied those rumors. Reports say that the two were in love, but that Grant broke up with him because of pressure from Hollywood bosses. Number 10. Marlene Dietrich Dietrich's professional fame was carefully crafted and kept up, but her personal life was kept from the public. Dietrich was actually bisexual and enjoyed the thriving gay scene and drag balls of Berlin in the 1920s in private. 
Dietrich, a German-American actress and singer, had a long and successful career that went all the way up to the 1980s. She was one of the best-known actors of her time and had more than 50 roles under her belt. As a bisexual woman, she had to hide the fact that she went out with lesbians so she could fit the profile that was expected of her at the time. She got married and had kids, but she still looked for happiness with other women. It is said that her husband had a mistress with whom he lived at Dietrich's expense. Number 11. Anthony Perkins Perkins was best known for his role in the movie Psycho as Norman Bates. Even though he was married, he hired a number of men through Scotty Bowers to help him find happiness. His wife may not have known about his extramarital affairs until he got sick and was told he had HIV. He died soon after from complications caused by AIDS. Perkins always said that Barry Berenson, a photographer and the sister of actress Marissa Berenson, had no idea about his affairs or his other life. Perkins was with his wife and their two teenage sons when he died. Perkins' death was a bit of a surprise because he never talked about being sick. Number 12. Joan Crawford During the golden age of Hollywood movies, Joan Crawford was one of the biggest movie stars, but her real life was just as wild. Joan Crawford had a rough start to life with a mother who was a prostitute and a stepfather who abused her and was said to have tried to rape her. She started making money when she was young in the same way that her mother did but she was able to break out and get a job with a traveling theater company as a dancer. She is thought to have gotten into movies by having sex with Hollywood bosses, and she was known for having sex with many male and female stars and having a colorful sex life. Number 13. Ramon Novaro Novaro, a Mexican actor, was known as a Latin lover who could make his fans go crazy with his good looks. Novaro wasn't too interested in all the female attention he was getting thanks to his fame. He preferred to be with other men. Novaro had a lifelong battle with alcoholism, which is often linked to his problems, his mixed feelings, and the fact that he was both gay and a Roman Catholic. He would often hire men from an agency to come to his house to satisfy his true sexual desires. However, on a fateful night in 1968, Two men came to his house pretending to be prostitutes, but they were really there to rob him. Navarro died because of wounds he suffered when they attacked him. Number 14. Marlon Brando Many people think that Marlon Brando is one of the best actors in the history of movies, and that he was a very manly man. But if everything is true, Brando may have also been one of Hollywood's biggest bedhoppers. It is said that the star of The Godfather got married four times and had 17 children during his lifetime. He was known to have a strong sexual appetite for both men and women. It has been said that he had a long-term affair with James Dean and a one-night stand with Bob Dylan. During Hollywood's golden age, there were a lot of bisexual Romeos, and Brando seems to have been right up there with the best of them. Number 15. James Dean James Dean's reputation as a cultural rebel is just as strong in the 21st century as it was when he was at the height of his fame and had only made three movies. Dean was a Hollywood heartthrob in the 1950s, and many men wanted to date him. His sexuality has been the subject of constant rumors over the years. Even though the people who knew him best say that he was gay and only did heterosexual things to please the public, his career was cut short in 1955 when he was only 24 years old. During the time he was making his last movie, Giant, he bought a new sports car and got into a fatal accident while driving along Route 46 in California. Number 16. Charles Lofton Charles Lofton, a great stage and movie actor and director, was married to actress Elsa Lanchester for a little over 30 years. But was the marriage a complete semblance? It depends on who you ask. Charles Lofton was a stage and movie star who had been married to the same woman for more than 30 years. However, his sexual impulses were not limited to women, nor were they limited to the conventional or traditional. Another Hollywood actor who used Scotty Bowers, he is said to have done some pretty unsanitary things with male prostitutes involving sandwich fillings that we won't go into right now. If you want to find out more, you'll have to do some research. 
Number 17. Tyrone Power During Hollywood's golden age, women couldn't get enough of Tyrone Power. On the surface and on screen, he seemed to be one thing. But according to Hollywood golden age pimp Scotty Bowers, Power was actually very different off-screen. Even though his career was pretty short, Power was in a lot of movies. He was another leading man in Hollywood who all the women loved. Power, like a lot of other actors at that time, wanted to be noticed by men. He is thought to have had a pretty weird sexual life with both men and women and to have done some pretty shocking things. When he was 44 and on a trip to Spain, his career was cut short when he had a heart attack and died. Number 18. Richard Pryor Pryor grew up in a brothel where his mother worked as a prostitute. He went on to become a famous stand-up comedian, actor, and writer despite his troubled past. He was married seven times, but it appears he also liked men. He is known to have had an affair with Marlon Brando, and he also admitted to having a two-week relationship with a transvestite. Jennifer Pryor, who was married to Richard Pryor, told TMZ in February 2018 that her husband had an affair with Marlon Brando in the 1970s, the famous actor in A Streetcar Named Desire and The Godfather. This wasn't the first time that Pryor's relationship with Brando was in the news. In an interview with Vulture, music mogul Quincy Jones had also mentioned it. Number 19. Rock Hudson Rock Hudson died of AIDS at age 59 in 1985. He was a matinee idol and was nominated for an Oscar. Before he got sick, the actor kept a low profile during his career. Even though he was married to Phyllis Gates for three years in the 1950s, people in Hollywood knew he was gay. In fact, it was Gates who talked to Hudson about how he felt about his sexuality. A private eye named Fred Otash, who was hired by Gates to follow Hudson, taped the conversation. After her husband took a Rorschach test, Gates then started to wonder if he was gay. Number 20. Raymond Burr Raymond Burr's most famous TV role was as defense attorney Perry Mason, who became a household name. He is also well known for playing a detective with a disability in the hit NBC show Ironside. In 1948, Burr married Isabella Ward, but the marriage didn't last long. In 1960, Burr met Robert Benavides on the set of the TV show Perry Mason. They stayed together until 1993, when Burr died. Most of the time, Benavides was listed as one of Burr's business partners. In the 1980s, the two bought land together and started a vineyard in Sonoma County, California. So, what do you think of these secrets about these Golden Age stars in old Hollywood? Does your thinking and theory change or stay the same? No matter how you look at it, the saying, a double-edged sword, certainly fits Hollywood's on-screen and off-screen personas and the illusions it creates on both ends of the spectrum. Which, I guess, is just part of the magic of cinema and the dark side of Hollywood. That's it for today. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.